Michelle Suter, principal of Gig Harbor High School. The high school is located super close to the actual harbor and Gig Harbor proper. So when you cross the bridge and you come into town, we're pretty much the closest you will see when you come across the bridge. We have amazing feeder schools. Our feeder schools in the elementary are Artendale, Harbor Heights, Pioneer, Discovery, and Voyager. And for our middle school, it's Kobachuk and Goodman. When you walk around our school, when we talk about school values, you're gonna see them around every corner in every classroom. So we talk a lot about the Tideway. Tideway is like live with integrity, to be kind, be engaged, and be responsible. To exemplify the Tideway is to live with integrity, to be kind, to be engaged, and to be responsible. And those are lived out in signage, and we do community agreements around those kinds of things. So what does it look like to be kind in the classroom? What does it look like to be engaged in the classroom? What does it look like to be responsible in our spaces, our common spaces? So we live those out um, in the classroom, in our common spaces, and in everything we do. I've been in education a long time, and I can tell you that Gay Harbor High School has some of the best programs, the most excellent faculty. I'm Leon Likens, and this is my 24th year as a teacher and 24th year here at Gay Harbor High School. So my entire career has been here. And currently I teach U.S. history, uh, civics, and military history, but I've also done world history in the past as well. Colleagues, friends that I have that teach elsewhere, I tell them I, I feel like I teach in Disneyland. It's a happy place, <laughs> um, but also it's um, a place where I get to teach. I, I don't have to worry about managing a classroom so much because the kids are, are good kids. And so I just get to teach. And there's a lot of joy in having to do that rather than some of the other grinds that come with teaching in some other ways. My name is Heidi Allen and I teach uh, glass art, I teach jewelry, and then I also teach uh, yearbook and newspaper classes. When I had young children, I chose to move into this district so that my kids could go to school in the Peninsula School District because of the quality of the schools. As a teacher here, what I see is um, high standards for all students and we really do take the kids where they are and move them forward and I think that's hugely important. I am a junior at Gig Harbor High School. Well, we have a grading system called standards-based grading where it's 8.5 for doing everything correctly, but in class they'll explain how to push yourself farther to get a 9.5 or a 10 to get you that A that you want. They'll sit down with you to help you to make you go the extra mile to adapt your brain to what it needs to be at for college. The best thing here is the teachers and how they contribute to really helping the students and the other best thing is our community, how we work together to make this school a better place. I'm Melissa Heckman, but my friends call me Mel. A lot of people know me as Mel. Um, and I am a parent. I have a daughter who graduated uh, two years ago and a son who's a junior here. So we've kind of been within this district for about 14, 15 years. And I'm just a volunteer. I'm somebody that loves Gig Harbor High School. I love the community. I would say if you're looking for a community, a school that you know has strong leadership and you can get involved, this is the place for you. It's very inclusive. You can find a place to live as a parent, but your children can find a place to be. That's not always the case in, in every school, in every town, in every part of the country. In terms of this academic side, the range of opportunities that exist here is just astronomical. And you see that when you go on our website or you go into our course catalog, whether it's students in terms of the courses that they can choose, they can choose UW in the high school so they can get dual credit while they're here. They can do CTE classes that take them on a pathway that maybe will lead them into something more in the technical field. We have foods classes, art classes, Mm, engineering classes, architecture, AP physics, and then there's the athletic side and the clubs. We have over 60 clubs that students can attend. They can do gardening club, they can do Dungeons and Dragons. You name it, we offer it at Gig Harbor High School. My freshman year, I took a manufacturing technology class and it's like an advanced wood shop. It's not you just make a birdhouse, like you create boxes, you create like large chairs, rocking chairs mechanical things that will work inside of wood. We have a lot of cool clubs at the high school too that involve everyone and give everyone a chance to show like their true colors and how they want to interact within the building. I feel like the Peninsula School District, it's a nice place to be. There's a lot of friendly people, everybody's nice. Mainly just because of how the teachers challenge you and how your classmates challenge you. Everyone, it's like one big community 
trying to make you the best version of yourself. We have opportunities for all levels of students here and opportunities for everyone to improve. And we really do try to meet the kids where they are and move them forward regardless of where they started. I became the principal of Gig Harbor High School in the middle of COVID. I walked into a really tough time. To watch this school, these teachers, these students, go through that time and come out the other side, resilient, strong, academically on point, excited for their next steps, makes me proud every single day. It really is a place for all students, and that's what I love about Gig Harbor High School.